Starting a business is one of the most exciting and rewarding experiences you can have. But where do you begin? There are many ways to approach creating a business, with many important considerations. To help take the guesswork out of the process and improve your chances of success, follow our comprehensive guide on how to start a business. We'll walk you through each step of the process, from defining your business idea to registering, launching and growing your business. Before you begin, get in the right mindset. The public often hears about overnight successes because they make for a great headline. However, it's rarely that simple, they don't see the years of dreaming, building and positioning before a big public launch. For this reason, remember to focus on your business journey and don't measure your success against someone else's. Consistency is key. New business owners tend to feed off their motivation initially but get frustrated when that motivation wanes. This is why it's essential to create habits and follow routines that power you through when motivation goes away. Take the next step. Some business owners dive in headfirst without looking and make things up as they go along. Then, there are business owners who stay stuck in analysis paralysis and never start. Perhaps you're a mixture of the two, and that's right where you need to be. The best way to accomplish any business or personal goal is to write out every possible step it takes to achieve the goal. Then, order those steps by what needs to happen first. Some steps may take minutes while others take a long time. The point is to always take the next step. Determine your business concept. Most business advice tells you to monetize what you love, but it misses two other very important elements. It needs to be profitable and something you're good at. For example, you may love music, but how viable is your business idea if you're not a great singer or songwriter? Maybe you love making soap and want to open a soap shop in your small town that already has three close by it won't be easy to corner the market when you're creating the same product as other nearby stores. If you don't have a firm idea of what your business will entail, ask yourself the following questions. 1. What do you love to do? 2. What do you hate to do? 3. Can you think of something that would make those things easier? 4. What are you good at? 5. What do others come to you for advice about? 6. If you were given 10 minutes to give a 5-minute speech on any topic, what would it be? 7. What's something you've always wanted to do, but lacked resources for? These questions can lead you to an idea for your business. If you already have an idea, they might help you expand it. Once you have your idea, measure it against whether you're good at it and if it's profitable. Your business idea also doesn't have to be the next scrub daddy or squatty potty. Instead, you can take an existing product and improve upon it. Or, you can sell a digital product so there's little overhead. What kind of business should you start? Before you choose the type of business to start, there are some key things to consider. 1. What type of funding do you have? 2. How much time do you have to invest in your business? 3. Do you prefer to work from home or at an office or workshop? 4. What interests and passions do you have? 5. Can you sell information, such as a course, rather than a product? 6. What skills or expertise do you have? 7. How fast do you need to scale your business? 8. What kind of support do you have to start your business? 9. Are you partnering with someone else? 10. Does the franchise model make more sense to you? Research your competitors and market. Most entrepreneurs spend more time on their products than they do getting to know the competition. If you ever apply for outside funding, the potential lender or partner wants to know, what sets you, or your business idea, apart? If market analysis indicates your product or service is saturated in your area, see if you can think of a different approach. Take housekeeping, for example, rather than general cleaning services, you might specialize in homes with pets or focus on garage cleanups. Create your business plan. A business plan is a dynamic document that serves as a roadmap for establishing a new business. This document makes it simple for potential investors, financial institutions and company management to understand and absorb. 1. Even if you intend to self-finance, a business plan can help you flesh out your idea and spot potential problems. 2. Come up with an exit strategy. 3. An exit strategy is important for any business that is seeking funding because it outlines how you'll sell the company or transfer ownership if you decide to retire or move on to other projects. 4. An exit strategy also allows you to get the most value out of your business when it's time to sell. There are a few different options for exiting a business, and the best option for you depends on your goals and circumstances. The most common exit strategies are Selling the business to another party 1. Passing the business down to family members 2. 
liquidating the business assets. 3. Closing the doors and walking away. 4. Develop a scalable business model. As your small business grows, it's important to have a scalable business model so that you can accommodate additional customers without incurring additional costs. A scalable business model is one that can be replicated easily to serve more customers without a significant increase in expenses. Some common scalable business models are Subscription-based businesses Businesses that sell digital products Franchise businesses Network marketing businesses Scale your business To scale your business, you need to grow your customer base and revenue. This can be done by expanding your marketing efforts, improving your product or service, collaborating with other creators or adding new products or services that complement what you already offer. Think about ways you can automate or outsource certain tasks so you can focus on scaling the business. For example, if social media marketing is taking up too much of your time, consider using a platform such as Hootsuite to help you manage your accounts more efficiently. You can also consider outsourcing the time consumer completely. You can also use technology to automate certain business processes, including accounting, email marketing and lead generation. Doing this will give you more time to focus on other aspects of your business. When scaling your business, it's important to keep an eye on your finances and make sure you're still profitable. If you're not making enough money to cover your costs, you need to either reduce your expenses or find ways to increase your revenue.